Hey, welcome back to Walleye Workshop. We've had a little time off here throughout the holidays. Uh, tis the season for uh, arts and crafts. So uh, we're going to be showing you how to pour some jigs up with do-it molds. Basically, we pour a lot of our jigs specialty, different presentations out there throughout the summer. So there's little tricks that we're going to show you on how to make uh, bigger hooks for the smaller head jigs and uh, various things that we, we do. So let's get started with that. We're going to show you. What we've got here is we've got a pot, the uh, the pour, and then this is our mold that we're using. And typically, when I'm warming the uh, the lead up, I usually lay the the mold right over the top of the pot. It kind of preheats that mold a little bit. Also, earlier I had the pot on 10, and now I turn it down to 7. If you leave it on 10, what you're going to have is you're going to have a lot of that slag build up on the top of your lead. So turn it back down to 7. It doesn't get the lead quite as hot and burn it. So. Just a little bit of uh, advice there. Another thing before you uh, load your hooks in, typically what I'll do is see how shiny the mold is right here. That's that's an indication the, the lead is actually going to stick in there a little bit. It would be harder to get out actually. So what I'll do is I'll have a candle like this and I'll just take that and right where the jig heads are, I'll just run it right through the flame just like that nice and slow and it should form a black soot right where the head of the jig is. You can kind of see that. And just make sure that keeps, it, it's black at all times when you're pouring. And you probably pour 50 or 60 jigs per hole here before you have to do it again. The jigs tend to come out a lot easier that way. Okay, the mold's quite hot from sitting on top of the, the uh, pot here. What I'll do is I won't even have hooks in here yet. I'll just pour the lead right in there. And uh, what that does is I'm gonna preheat the mold just like this. Normally what I'll do is I'll join the lead on top of the mold like that. So then when you do pull your jigs out, you know, they pretty much come out all together. And when you do set it back in the pot, set it back in the pot easy. Don't drop it from up here because a splash of lead in your eye or on your arm. And I'll do this probably four or five times. Now I know that mold is good and hot where it's going to mold around that hook so it does not have a loose hook in the, the head of the jig. So cool. See how they all stay together? It's because the mold is getting a little bit warmer. Okay, this is an eighth ounce do it mold, just a regular round head, and this is actually a four odd hook. Um, this is definitely a specialty jig. There's not uh, very many companies that even come close to making a four rod hook with an eighth ounce jig. So this mold is gonna only take, there's some things I did to it. Uh, you grind some areas out to fit more of the four rod hooks in there. But this particular mold is only gonna hold three hooks at a time. Make sure when you close the jig mold, you kind of hear that little snap like that. If, it, if you don't hear that snap, that's going to mean that the hook is going to be holding the mold open and you're not going to get a good pour. Even though I'm only pouring three at a time, it's just as easy to pour them all. It keeps the mold real warm that way. All right, I got a few of these jigs poured up. Uh, one little th thing I do also is I let them cool, and rather than cutting off the, uh, the lead, I'll take my hand and I'll just kind of jiggle it like that up and back, and it comes off nice and clean. Make sure you let the lead cool down. If you uh, take a pair of pliers on there, you have a tendency to loosen that hook up in the lead, so uh, just do it that way. Uh, the particular mold we were using is a Pro 101. The model is a 1251. But that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple to pour your specialty jigs up. And uh, we have a lot more to do here next week and the week after, like weeks of the stuff. Uh, we might be pouring up some ch inline chain sinker weights and a lot of that good stuff. So stay tuned. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff.